I'm Dr. Amanda Pesos, an equine chiropractor. And I'm Dr. Kristen Dietrich, an equine veterinarian. So today we're going to talk about a situation in which your chiropractor and your vet can work together to help have a positive effect on some hind end, hind end lamenesses. Very often we will see what appears to be a primary hind end lameness and therapies geared at the major joints in the hind leg, such as the stifle, the hock, or the fetlock, have been addressed, but the lameness doesn't respond. So there are nerves that go through the horse's neck that go all the way back to the hind legs. Now these nerves affect the motor function of the legs, which means they make them move. And when there's pressure on those nerves, even though they go all the way from the neck to the hind legs, there are situations where you can relieve the pressure off the nerves up in the neck and it will have a positive effect on a hind end lameness. If you're experiencing problems with chronic hind limb lameness, the neck might be a place to look at if you have evaluated the hind end and not really found a primary source of problem in the limb. So that's a situation where your chiropractor and your veterinarian can work together to help have a positive effect on your horse's health and his movement. I'm Dr. Amanda Pesos, an equine chiropractor. You can find my contact information at www.equinemovement.com.